All right, hello there, YouTubers. This uh, video is going to cover the concurrent RDP patcher. And if you open it, and it looks like this, um, that usually is an indication that the patch has been patched. So what I'm going to do in this video is show you how to get around it. So the first thing I want you to do is close that. I want you to click on Start, your Windows 7. Go to Control Panel. And then I want you to go to the uh, Programs and Features. Up here in the top of the Programs and Features, you'll see View Installed Updates. It's basically the same thing I showed you to do in the, the first video. but what I want to do is I want to see if the um, patch is actually found again. And as you can see, I copied and pasted the, um, the, the name of the patch, the KB2984972, and it was found. So that would explain why my patcher is not working. And it's usually probably, I would almost guarantee it's why yours is not going to be working. I haven't seen any new updates to the the um, the concurrent patcher, so um, meaning from Microsoft themselves, I have not seen uh, a new release that that patches this. So what they'll do is they'll keep distrib distributing it. But I think what they did do is they modified this so that if I uninstall this and I don't stop the updates. I, this is going to reinstall again and um, so what I'm going to do right now is I, I'm going to just I'm not going to uninstall it and I'm going to come down here and I'm going to type msconfig m-s-c-o-n-f-i-g and then I'm going to hit enter and then the system configuration utility will pop up and I just want you to click on the services tab and then I want you to just scroll all the way down to you find updates. And then when you get down to Windows Update, uncheck it, click Apply, and then click OK. Now, I don't want you to restart yet. Just click exit without restarting and then I want you to go back into um, yep I want you to go back into the control panel I want you to go back into the control panel and I want you to search for the the patch again and then I want you to click on it right click and I want you to uninstall it click yes and then when this is done uninstalling, I want you to restart your computer and then test the patch again. Now, I'm going to have to end the recording, the recording when this is done because I didn't do this in a virtual machine like I normally do. I'm showing you this in real time. And, um, it it should work for you if it doesn't work for you then um, the patch probably reinstalled itself now if you're not finding the patch and this isn't working for you let me know and I'll, I'll see if there is a, an update but I haven't seen or heard of any new update for this uh, this particular RDP patcher and uh, I have my auto updates uh, running all the time and when it does this to me I just uninstall it again and uh, and just wait and see if it happens again all right and uh, when the patch is uh, uninstalled you're you'll be asked to restart your computer now and I would suggest you go ahead and do that so I'm gonna pause the video I'm gonna or I'm going to stop the video and then 
when I'm done, I'll make another small video so that you can see whether it worked or not. All right, thank you for watching, and I, I hope this works for you. Leave me some comments.